Hello everybody, Tracy Hackler here with another exciting edition of Panini Unwrapped, joined today by the incomparable Mike Payne. I've been called a lot of things, I haven't been called incomparable, at well, least in a while. Well, it's, it's true, it's a true statement, Mike, and uh, Mike is the, the baseball brand manager here at uh, Panini America, and we have here a product that is long overdue, a lot of people just... It's near and dear to our hearts. Oh, yeah. absolutely, it's Cooperstown is what it is. It's finally out. It's a product that generated excitement almost from day one when we announced uh, we were doing it. Yeah, and, and it took some time, um, but we think it's worth the wait. Uh, I know waiting um, is tough, and, and, and people want answers, and, and there were a lot of delays that were out of our control. Absolutely. Um, and some things we um, just felt weren't, weren't um, prepared enough and good enough to be in the product, and, and we, had to, we had to fix them. Well, I think it, the the product's beautiful. We've seen some some uh, preview uh, QC stuff that you guys have have pulled, and it's fantastic. And yeah. you said that being worth the wait, I think people will agree that it certainly is. Yeah, what we hope people get out of this um, is, you know, a lot of people have never been to Cooperstown. A lot of people have, and will appreciate seeing the images. But if you've never been to Cooperstown, we hope that this gives you at least a slice of of what is there. Yeah, and I've. It's like a trip to Cooperstown, and the cool thing about it is inside the packs, you have a chance to win an actual trip to Cooperstown. So Which would be great. The, uh, That's an amazing, it's a village. I, don't call it a town, don't call it a city, it's a village. It's a village. And then they want it called a village. What takes a village, Mike, I've always said that. Are we going to open? Oh, absolutely we okay. are. Look at You'll notice that the uh, images are black and white, and that's to stay with the uh, tone of the set. I got a museum piece is Johnny Bench. I think there are two kind of memorabilia focused um, inserts in the set, and those are my favorite cards in the whole thing. Right, and and those are not actual memorabilia cards because um, we discussed um, internally, we didn't think it was going to be in everyone's best interest to have actual memorabilia yeah. cards in a Hall of Fame set because the Hall kind of cringes at anything being cut up as you might imagine. <laughs> yes. So we tried to capture the images that um, are there and on display in, uh, on our cards. Now here's the, the Hall of Fame Holiday uh, sweepstakes card that we mentioned inserted in every pack. It's a cross-brand uh, promotion that appeared in Prestige Basketball, uh, Great Iron Football, and now Cooperstown Baseball. And you, there's a code on this card. You go to the website, enter that code, and someone's going to win a trip to Cooperstown. Yeah. And then a grand prize. I'm not, nor well, are you. Well, you, no, we are n not eligible. No, we're not. But in addition to that uh, trip to, to Cooperstown, someone will win a trip to all three halls of fame. So, wow. it's crazy. Um, here's a hall history card, and these are just kind of moments, great moments in the hall. Uh, this one is uh, Ted Williams talking about how the hall should be open to everyone, including the uh, Negro Leaguers that um, had been kind of passed over for so many years. And the back kind of is a story on it. and call it the Cooper Sound Daily. Mm -hmm. Well, newspaper feel. Yeah. Here's a uh, famous moments uh, card showcasing the bat that Carly Strips used for the 3000. Yep. Which, this is historic memorabilia that you would never get a chance to see that's right and you're bringing it that, to life and there's a you know we know the hall of famers but um there's guys in here like al spaulding mm -hmm. he's in the hall of fame now al never played an inning I, I, if he did it was <laughs> it was Not short script. uh but his his um you know he was an executive and his contributions are great to, mm -hmm. to sporting goods and to the game itself Here's one of our um, oh, awesome. bronze histories. Uh, I like the, we've got a spot UV on here. Oh, and then we got awesome. a certain feel to the card, yeah. which I really like. And these are the actual bronze uh, plaques and they're numbered to 599 each. Those are beautiful. Yeah. And the spot UV really kind of. The spot UV looks great. Yeah. Now here's kind of a postcards type insert, uh, the village. And it's just cool shots from around the village. The, yeah, the winter shots in here, there's five summer and five winter. The winter shots were taken by Brandon Leslie, okay. our creative director, when we went up in February. That's cool. We hit a snowstorm <laughs> that day we were there. It's beautiful. The, the, and they're beautiful, too. The Ballparks is another insert that, that kind of pays homage to... 
Here's um, a card that probably will surprise a few people, and that is the uh, wood cards, uh, the induction year. Uh, they're generally one per box. And originally our uh, original intent was to have a patch card, but because of um, our vendor's inability to uh, manufacture those in a reasonable time to let us get this product out in calendar year 2012, right. we had to go with an alternative. And we think that uh, these wood cards are pretty unique and they're, they're limited. Uh, and they add some historic value. This one's Ty Cobb, uh, inducted in 1939, and it tells about it in the That's back. Cool. But I think there, I think people will really appreciate those. There's well, we had to we had to get the product <clears throat> out. Right. Here's a credentials card. That's really a simple card. It's real simple. But it just talks about, but real factual. Their credentials. Yes. <laughs> Why they're in the Hall of Fame. Was happen to be Ozzy Smith. Okay, well, this pack yielded two interesting things. Uh, first of um, all, are the um, internally we call them the crystal shards. Yeah, the crystal. Or, or, or cracked ice. And those are numbered to uh, 299 And there's one for each card. And this also yielded, there are two, as you can see, these are uh, black and white images. This also yielded a short print. In the last 200, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the last 20 cards in the set are colorized. And the colorized cards, there's two per box, and uh, those are the SPs. Oh, they look fantastic, too. Yeah. Now, I pulled also two pretty cool cards in my pack. This just phenomenal on card autographs in this set. This happens to be of Pat Gillick, he's an executive mm -hmm. in the hall. Oh, recently inducted uh, two years ago. And then I pulled a, a crystal shards, if you will, of a guy who's near and dear to your heart. One George, George Howard, Howard Brett, Brett. Greatest left-handed hitter uh, <laughs> this side of Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Stan <laughs> Musial, and a few others. Uh, who's counting, though? Uh, George Brett was, was was my guy growing up. Yeah. Here's one of our uh, With Honors cards. I, I really like this set, and I, I thought they turned out great. These highlight players and their military service and, yeah. and all four services are covered very patriotic yep this was whitey ford during world war ii that's a great idea for an insert to the high praise and you you take sound bites or comments from known baseball folks on hall of yep. famers this is a cal ripping card that i think has a quote from the great Joe Torrey. So, and, and then, Joe Torrey is great. He is. And here's a, these look cool too. The spot UV on the color. Yes. The, the in, induction. And cards. those are obviously taken at the induction. Here's a museum piece. Uh, that glove right there, it looks like a pancake, was used <laughs> by Lou Gehrig. Fantastic. Ooh. 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 Gehrig, Gehrig, Gehrig. Yeah, how did he catch with that thing? Catch the rose across the diamond. There's a great shot of Ted Williams swinging against the packed house. Just the great photography, the the feel. There is a lot of good photography in here. Um, you guys nailed it for sure. Yeah. And every one of these images is true. There are no um, doctoring of photos on these at all. Yeah. Well, I know the purists and the... Here's one taken by our, our uh, creative director when we were there. He did, a good, he did a good job. He did. He walked around the village and we drove around and he found unique architecture and, you know... Yeah. You know how he's geeked, geeked out, out. He gets, yeah. There's a hall history, Roberto Clemente. Looks like he's signing autographs for some kids. And there's a couple of shots like, like this in this uh, Hall of Fame history, Hall history insert of guys signing autographs. Here's a field general card. Um, we focused on catchers. That's nice. the name. <laughs> and one of the best right there happens to be card one in that insert, Johnny Bench. Excellent. Here's a Cy Young colorized. Again, the colorized cards are phenomenal. And they're, they are short printed. I, 
generally you're going to find two per box. And a Roy Campanella Famous Moments Bat Card. Bat Card. I Meaning it includes a picture of his bat. Here's a uh, Edward Charles Ford. Whitey Ford. Uh, we know him as Whitey Ford. Uh, the Hall of Fame actually asked us to use their real full names really? on those cards. That's awesome. Uh, and they wanted it how it is on the plaque, which I thought was kind of cool. But the, you, you hear some of these names, and you know, who, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the original Pudge Fisk. Yeah. Maybe the greatest Pudge Fisk. Um, he's probably the greatest Pudge Fisk. <laughs> and the, okay, well, here's a second autograph. Oh, um, nice. Uh, that's a longtime Reds announcer, Marty uh, Brenneman. And just full, bold autograph. It really pops yeah. up that white design. Yep. Is this? I got a Russ. And they're serial number, so yeah. we're not hiding anything from anybody. Russ Hodges, Voices of Summer. Uh, the Giants win the pennant. The Giants win the pennant. Yeah. I, I like those um, those, uh, those Voices of Summer turned out great. Yeah, a lot of great photos, just old time. And Vince Scully's in there too. And Vince Scully's part of our autograph set as well. Which is huge. Yeah, yeah. Honest Wagner, this is getting Vin, first autograph, right? Getting Vin was, um, was more than just a phone call. We had to uh, make several phone calls and and uh, the fact that it was Hall of Fame related sold it. Really? Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people. I, you know what? He just, it's, he's a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. uh, but he just didn't, he just hasn't participated in this type of stuff. And, and then when he realized uh, it was Hall of Fame, um, all these guys uh, appreciated that. And once they realized, oh, I'm, I'm associated with a Hall of Fame product, um, that makes a world of difference. And they changed their mind. That's awesome. Well, I know a lot of people were excited when we announced that Vince Scully was in and we sh showed the autograph cards. And to your point, I mean, it, this is officially licensed by the National Baseball Hall of Fame Museum. It's Absolutely. It has our marks on it. They supplied many of the photos. Mm -hmm. uh, that we have their blessing with it, and we couldn't have done it without the Hall of Fame, obviously, um, opening their archives to us. Um, there's a pair of spikes that Ty Cobb wore, mm -hmm. and they were actually down in their basement in their archive room, and we saw the box and asked if, I saw the name on there, and in the year, and asked if, if the lady could open it up, and she did, and there were these seriously sharpened spikes that wow. came out of this shoebox. And she took them out, and they had, you know, the paper in them, yeah. and, and uh, she put her gloves on, and, and um, but we got some great images close up, and. Um, I'm here to tell you that Ty Cobb wore a bigger shoe than Babe Ruth. Really? Because we pulled his cleats out too, and, and Babe Ruth wore um, maybe eights. Really? And Cobb was throwing down a ten and a half or eleven. Whoa! And they were sharpened, legitimately. <laughs> that's not a myth. These are weapons. Yeah. Well, that's that's uh, stuff that you don't get anywhere else. And if I had a hat, I'd take it off to you and. The designers and everybody who worked so hard on this product it was such a uh, a long journey to get to this point it but is. it's out now. it's a fun product it's priced <clears throat> right um it is what it is and it's it's a it's a walk through cooper sound yeah it is a, and what's the pack price this is like uh 3.99 $3 pack and this box it delivered two on card autographs right so all the history you could there's a, at least one insert in every pack and as you saw there's and several packs have two inserts yep. so have fun with it. Well, kudos to you guys. We're going to give these away at some point. You just stay tuned to the bottom to find out how. But, Mike, thanks for coming on. Absolutely enjoyed it. Thank you, guys and Thank guys you. for watching. We'll see you. We love you. Bye.